More news now, and for the second time this week, Governor Walker talked to business leaders in Illinois. And once again, the governor was greeted by protesters. Cody Holyoke has the story from Chicago. In the heart of downtown Chicago, back in Illinois for a second time, Governor Scott Walker touted his budget and collective bargaining reforms. Union members here want nothing of it. Stay loud! Stay clear! We don't want Scott Walker here! Marching outside a meeting on public policy, unions chanted for Governor Walker to leave. We're 100% pro-union, 100% pro-union. He's 100% anti-union. We don't want him in our city. Thank you. 40 stories above the protest, the governor gave a glimpse into his decision making surrounding Act 10 and other choices made during his time in office. We thought more about the next generation than we did about the next election. And isn't that what you elect people to do? To fundamentally make those sorts of decisions? The governor did field questions from guests at the private luncheon. His campaign staffers did not let us ask any before rushing Walker out of the room. <laughs> Union members say they want nothing of the governor's plan, and they're watching Wisconsin closely. Whether we're here in Chicago or up in Wisconsin, we're, we're here to, to uh, make sure that working people still have that voice. And I think that's what you see here today. Walker continued his visit here to Illinois with a few more stops around the Windy City. We're told taxpayers did not foot the bill for this trip. The governor's office refused to let Walker answer any of our questions. On your side in Chicago, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4.